The power of the mind, the right brain and the left brain. Get control of yours. I'm having a conversation again today with John Maxwell Taylor. The left brain and right brain, they have very, very different functions. The left brain is basically, it's a, it's a device for tracking information coming in and helping us to make decisions to and analyze things, to size things up. And it's like a seesaw. It, re it really works with, it's an on and on off switch. It's either yes or no. This is why when you've had some kind of experience that's maybe been hard to get a handle on, then if you, if you kind of just observe what's going on in your head, you'll see that, that it's always this question of, well, should I do this? Should I not do that? Flip, flop, flip back and forth. The right brain doesn't know anything about that. That's the creative part of oneself. So what a little trick that I do is I ask someone to close their eyes and then just put their attention in their left brain for a moment. This is, for me, this would be this hemisphere, right? And uh, I'll say to them, can you just call up some image about something that's bothering you at the moment? And just kind of put that picture in your left brain. So they'll do that. And then I'll say, okay, let that go. And uh, now put your attention in your right brain. And now call up the same image, it could be a person or something, world situation, whatever image it was of something that was bothering you, just have that image in your right brain. And then I asked them to tell me the difference. Did it feel different? They said, oh yes. He said, when it, I was focusing on my left brain, everything felt, felt tight and cramped and, and rather uncomfortable. And then when I let it go and moved over to the right brain and had the same image or thought in the right brain, it didn't bother me at all. There was no charge on it. So we might say in a, in a way that our left brains have become a little bit dysfunctional because we can't very accurately often de decode what's going on. This information coming into us, we can't always make absolute sense of it. So we get over agitated in our left brain. But when you put the same thing in the right brain, it doesn't affect us in the least. So um, this is what I suggest to people. For example, suppose there's somebody who bothers you and you keep having judgment thoughts about them. So I say, okay, you know, focus on your left brain for a moment and think of that person. Hold the image of that person who's bothering you in your left brain. And boy, will your judgment start up. So you have all that stuff going on. Go over to the right brain. Think about that person again. You'll see. Now you can have that picture of them in your right brain, but it doesn't bother you at all. And then imagine you've got the, your mouse and your computer and you're just going to click on that image and feeling in your right brain where that you, you can think about that person without any judgments and just drag that image and that feeling that goes with it over to the left brain. All of a sudden, voila, you're free from it. It's a kind of a, it's a little bit of de-self-hypnosis because when you have an obsessive compulsive thought going in your left brain, something that you're really stewing about, you can't seem to get rid of it by thinking your way out of it. So what you do is you just go over to the right brain where the right brain doesn't care. The left brain is linear, the right brain is expansive. So when you get the positive image of that person or that thing in your right brain and drag and click it over to the left brain, the two hemispheres sync up. This is um, a very practical way of doing something in regard to a real world situation that traditionally, you know, people when people do meditation, for example, the goal is to get the two brain hemispheres synced up together, but usually by not having any thoughts. And that's why meditation is so difficult, because it's hard to stop that monkey mind going. But what we're talking about is bringing about the same result while working with the thoughts in the, your brain. You recognize there is a difficult thing going on in your left brain. It's an agitation about someone or something. You go over to the right brain to think about it, and then it doesn't matter, so you bring it back to the left brain. What have you got? Hemispheres of the brain in perfect sync in regard to that thing that has been bugging you.